I got rid of Elvira, and now I've got Wizard of Oz, Jersey Jacks. I think still their best game. Yeah, Elden John shoots amazing, but theme stuff that's in the game is a more than shots for me, and this is a childhood theme. I've watched this movie a shit ton of times since seeing it in grade one back in 2006 on a old VHS tape. And basically I traded Elvira for this thing because it got rid of Batman. It's gone. So now it's just two. And I was thinking I was playing these two Elvira and Simpsons and I, and I wanted something that was more of a step up if, since we're just going to have two. So I did put it out there on the Facebook groups and basically someone, one person, well, one wanted to trade my Elvira for Toy Story 4, which <clears throat> never going to happen. Fuck that game. Should have been Toy Story 1 with mechs like this. Um, and, uh, the second person was the one that had this, which is a, almost a Emerald City. Now, if you know, in Australia, we had the, right here, the Rescue Edition. And there's also a Land Down Under. There's t sort of two different versions, but um, the Rescue is basically people that got screwed out of what? Uh, I think it was 22 or 20. They got... Bumper action, which I used to go and play pinball there a lot. They used to have a once a month Friday night thing, play whatever they had in their showroom. And they screwed people out of their money. They did some shady shit. Just to sum it up, I know the full details, but they did shady shit. And yeah, so Jersey Jack made them whole. That he gave them the machine. And the main difference is, is the sticker, which is unfortunately coming off but um this is basically the only difference is the sticker and the cereal on the back and in the uh inside that has it says emerald city <coughs> le and it's just the only difference is it's got an r afterwards and then also on the d which i've got a manual and it's got original brochure with a there's the data title and it basically says rescue on it. Other than that, it's an Emerald City. <clears throat> so he took up the trade on this thing and holy crap. This is the heaviest pinball I think I've moved. I've moved a Hobbit as well. That's heavy. Ugh, that's heavy as well. And the Jersey Jack Pirates. That's still, I think, the heaviest Jersey Jack Pirates. But, oh, this was not fun, but managed. Actually, after El Elvira was a breeze. It was this that's a pain. Um, and this thing's in great condition. Like, just, it's still a beautiful game. And if you love Wizard of Oz, this is absolutely just amazing. I love that. You got to topple with it. And if you can see, I've actually had this for years. The That's the um, Ruby Red 75th anniversary. There's not too many differences, but that one I got autographed by Jack. So I've had that for years. I've got a copy of the original poster that came with one of the albums, the vinyl album I got cheap. But yeah, this thing, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. And there's no protection here, but it's really, but they, they made it really well made. This is, um, the Charlie at Charlie Emery spooky pinball that he actually was clear coding. He did this as a job. So he did these 
And these are just absolutely fantastic. Um, just beautiful. Now, you know, they're known as the rad cows now. That's something else, but they put all the stops in this thing. And yeah, LCD and everything. And it's actually pretty good. As the code got really well when I played the prototype back in 2013, it's so much better. There's a lot to do. It's, yeah, well on the glass. If you love the theme and everything, it's great. Now, it does have its faults. This game, you got to get up and running. And this one's usually 17 grand and my Elvira all modded was worth that. And so there is stuff I got to do. Again, Vizzy Glass is one thing. It comes with by default. Um, as you can see, I got to replace. I'm going to do right now the rubbers. I've got there all the complete rubber kit I bought. And I've got the... The 2.0 box, he gave the seller gave me that. Cliffy's there's a couple bits. Yeah, you can see. But it's pretty clean though. I gave it a, a bit of a wipe and I played it throughout the week and did little adjustments. And the other thing is I've got a light board, if you can see. Um, if it will go into because it's not showing the right colours. So I might have to get I'll I'm not going to do the 2.0, the 2.0. I'll just replace the this one board. Because everything else... Oh, and the other thing is... Um, that arrow's not showing any other colors but green. I'll see if that's a wire off. Or something's just not connected right. I'll have a look. Because if... If I can just get that fixed... I'll just swap it. Um, yeah, you can see it's not stuck on red which is a bit of a but I don't know it's playable but I will replace that just because it's a shit ton to do with that 2.0 I'll do it once and if it ends up screwing up then I'll have to do this because I rather just if I'm going to do the 2.0 I'll focus on that instead of taking this apart cleaning it putting new rubbers and then back together. I'll Let's see. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So I'll put up some videos after this one to show stuff I've done and other thing and other things. So you can see this and see what you have to do. Especially, yeah, removing the house. It's in the manual, but if you're like me, you want to see videos of it, how to do it. So I'll be doing that. And um, yeah, just look at that. At least someone replaced some of these with white rubbers, so thank God. But look at that, molded. It's just still pretty. Now, that little buzzing you hear, that's from the lights. I need to fix... I'll fix a couple things, but... Ah, uh, yeah, so... Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. And keep on flipping.